really rough. It's very experimental. It's very raw form of printing. Knuckles and Notches is about collaborative work, so it's like joining Knuckles and taking it up a notch, so it's like working together to go to greater heights. Knuckles and Notch is an independent publishing and risograph print studio. Risograph is the new way for analog printing. It relates back to the 60s and 70s kind of like um, publishing. For risograph, people can do prints, zine. Books, anything that can fit within an E3, anything is possible. So we went to New York, came across Risograph, we got back, we found it like it's interesting and like we've been looking for Risograph press here, we can't find any, so like, I thought it was like starting one, yeah. But no one has ever done like um, you know art with a risograph machine. We bought ten color straight and we moved into like a apartment. We only had a machine and a couch back then in two thousand and fourteen. Yeah, so that's how it started. Marilyn, she is overly hyper. There's always ideas in her mind, like flowing. She's obsessed with sound, not me. I'm, a, I'm more obsessed with visuals. Johan, he's very um, serious about the work he does. One of his uh, ongoing series is the Snow White series that he's been doing and he's been known for. He's obsessed with stuff and when he's obsessed, he gets serious with it. Yeah, he likes the smell of wood and paper. The artists that we've collaborated with, their style of artwork is very is very different from mainstream artworks. Right now, right now they are more Asian centric. The reason why we want to look for more local artists is like we see a lot of talents here. Here is Mr. Tux. I used to skate him five years ago, and we met at LSP, a skate, an uh, indoor skate place. Yes. Can you tell me how you start like Temple of Skate? Temple of Skate is about a bunch of uh, martial artists doing skateboarding. So it's a, it's a mix between uh, Asian and Western influences. That's where I started to contact him on his artwork to produce like a book for his illustrations. Where do you get the inspiration from? I happened to end up at this uh, Chinese section at the National Library and this book has this martial artist on posture. It kind of looked like a, a guy skating so I just draw that guy and I added in a skateboard. The reaction from friends was good. I just continued doing that after that very first one. The risograph itself is very special. It's different from digital printing, like you can print anywhere. You have to visualize in layers and different color comes in different drums. It allows you to experiment with different effects that you want to achieve. You can lay different colors over each other and, and get new colors that you wouldn't have imagined otherwise. And I think the colors also is uh, different from uh, the normal printing. We wanted to find out more about it, so we came here for the workshop and keep testing and testing and fail quick so you can finish it and try new colours. I think it's great that Singapore has like an uh, independent reason for to do because it's also a way to show people that hey, print is not dead. Like, it can coexist with digital. But... This is the... Marcus and Notch is in the Arab Street area. We are actually in the Kampong Glam precincts. So Kampong Glam, um, it attracts a lot of tourists. And not just tourists, but also like um, art goers. Yeah, and we have like two art schools nearby, and we have National mm. Design Centre. 
it's cosy in our studio, but when you go out, it's humid, hot, and and then it smells like boogies. How do you smell boogies? Because boogies have this very distinct smell. Rizograph is very fresh, it's very different. Having it here in Singapore as a platform and make it something that it's like, oh, you know, we can do this, it's accessible. People don't have to like think twice about doing publishing their own zines. We want to make more in interactive. Interactive. We want yeah. to make stuff like this. Interactive zine. without technology. Huh? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a goal.